Puberty. If you're above the age of 12, you likely have gone through it. In 7th grade and older in the United States, they give you sex ed in school. And if you've experienced this, they may have played a video from the YouTube channel AmazeOrg. As it turns out, this is a channel that isn't great and misleads children. Before we talk about all the problems with AmazeOrg, what even is AmazeOrg? AmazeOrg is supposed to be a channel that educates older kids and teenagers on puberty and sexuality. But is it really though? The first problem I have with Amaze is its view on pornography. Amaze Org heavily downplays the severity of porn. They say it's normal, and in a video from December 2016 and in a video from March 2020, pretty much say that it is only as bad as watching some PG movies. That is, if said PG movies have someone who's like Greg Doucette in them because he has a history of steroid usage, and therefore he is an unrealistic body expectation. And according to Amaze, like, that's the only drawback of porn. Like, are you being serious right now? That's the only drawback of porn, Amaze. Unrealistic body expectations. The science suggests something much different and much worse than that. The fact is that watching pornography is much worse than watching a PG movie that has like that has like men in bathing suits or like women in bathing suits. Pornography is a harmful drug. To paraphrase neurologist Andrew Huberman, adolescence and young adult sexuality can be negatively influenced by porn, meaning that over time, only those extreme sexual experiences which are in porn will turn on these people. This is addictive behavior. Furthermore, it is much more difficult for a teenager to quit a drug than a grown adult. This on its own is enough evidence to show that a maze org should not be downplaying the harmful effects of pornography. And because they are advertising to this stuff to kids, is that not grooming? Something a maze is also doing that I think is just as bad, if not worse, is that they encourage children with gender dysphoria to be taking potentially irreversible hormones and puberty blockers. So why is this a problem? According to the United Kingdom National Health Service, there have been no long-term studies on the side effects of puberty blockers. And this is harmful because if we don't know what the side effects are, we could have our children be taking these these hormones, right? And and then we'd just be like using them as guinea pigs to test for the harmful side effects like 10, 20, 30 years later, who knows. And the reason why there aren't any long-term side effects is in the past 10 years, this is like the, the first time where you've actually had a large percentage of the population identifying as transgender, especially like among young people. Since there's no long-term studies on the effects of puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones, I do not think a channel like Amaze.org should be recommending puberty blockers. Heck, even to- they shouldn't be recommending, like, hormones to even adults. So they shouldn't even be saying it's a viable option for minors. I think that is just wrong. And especially since, you know, that schools play their videos during sex ed classes. They should really be careful with this. And hormones are also irreversible, and they can cause permanent breast development in males and permanent voice deepening in females, as well as rendering them infertile. Relating to the transgender issue, the last problem I have with Amaze Org's videos is that they do not know the answer to the two simple questions, which are, what is a woman and what is a man? Yet, they will say the definitions all the time instead of saying boys and girls, which is people with penises and people with vulvas. The only way you can define male and female accurately without making it a circular definition is by using those terms. And by the way, this is actually affecting children because I'm 16 years old. If I ask anyone at my school what a woman is, they will not be able to answer. I think by now you can see that Amaze.org is not a good channel and they mislead children into becoming addicted to porn, taking irreversible hormones and puberty blockers, and they are making it so kids are erased not knowing the definition of man or woman. I hope that if Amaze.org by chance sees this video, they see it as an opportunity to actually improve themselves. Is it because when their videos are being used for sex ed, they have to take the time to make sure that they are not promoting things that harm children. Enjoy your day, people, and bye.